and the fact that this is also obviously front page news in Russia, as we've been discovering this week with the with the niece of Sergei Skripal on the telly virtually Absolutely. every night. I mean, a few weeks ago, to be to be goodish about it would be not to be goodish about it. We thought they were dying. I mean, that was what was being said at the and hospital. And they never regained consciousness, and now they're talking. Yeah, absolutely extraordinary, and, and, and thank goodness, uh, and thank goodness also for the police officer as well, who could have also possibly lost his life. Um, but this is an interesting thing. I, I think I think the more interesting thing about this is not that actually the idea that the Americans could help with offering uh, alternative identities and a new life in America, much easier to protect them. Uh, the, the concern being they have to be in a Five Eyes country, one of our biggest sort of staunchest allies, but we know that we can uh, it can keep them safe. But, uh, five Eyes. Five Eyes. Well, you know, oh, yes, five it's eyes. Five Eyes. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's basically the Anglo. It's the Anglo sphere uh, to all intents and purposes. Um, but um, but but it's interesting that the the Russians are demanding to meet with the with with uh, Yulia now she's awake. Uh, Yulia apparently doesn't want to meet with them. And of course we know yesterday we did this, this, the niece's uh, 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 visa hasn't been granted. But it is interesting what what uh, Boris Johnson said because we had some extraordinary scenes this week at the Russian embassy with the Russian ambassador playing sort of comical alley. We were back to Iraq, it was, Baghdad. It was very bizarre. Yes, there's nothing to um, see here while the bombs are dropping Boris behind. Is writing, though, what Boris is writing though. What Boris is writing today in the papers, uh, trying it's to exculpate... It's in the Sunday Times. It's say, in the yeah. Sunday Times, uh, trying to exculpate himself. He has bungled yep. yet again on one of the most crucial uh, diplomatic... He is the most well, undiplomatic... He doesn't do foreign detail, and Foreign Office he requires... Well, all politics lazy, requires detail. Lazy, yeah. sloppy, uh, never reads his brief. You so think what to, he's just, done just to the, not, Ara think, the Iranian fair, captive. Just, just to remind people what we're talking about here, is that there was an interview with a guy heading Porton Down, and he said, yes, we have Which identified this. Which was also a car crash interview. Yes, yeah. we, we've identified this as Novichok. We don't know where it came from. And that um, seemed to contradict what Boris Johnson had told German television, where he said he had absolutely, they were absolutely categorical. He'd spoken to the guy so at Porton but Down. his words absolutely categorical. It wasn't quite, there wasn't actually a question yeah. there. He said, so this guy, no question about, about it. And uh, the handling of, as we know, the handling of sensitive uh, intelligence information is so important. You get it wrong, you well, discredit but everything. But it's, but it's interesting that the Labour leader, Jeremy Corbyn, isn't even given the most sensitive information yeah. because he's not, so it's not thought... Well, what's interesting is that Boris Johnson here is trying to put the blame onto Corbyn. I mean, Corbyn is not the story in this. Whether he uh, acted well or badly, he's not the story. The main, you know, he's calling an infantile and a Kremlin's useless idiot, useful idiot. It actually, the story has been this week, the idiocy of Boris Johnson. I, I, look, I absolutely agree. I, mean, I think absolutely total incompetence from Boris Johnson. I wouldn't have him in the job in the first place. But um, but, but the reality is, when you have the official leader of well, Majesty's opposition uh, basically spouting Kremlin lines on I, this I'm issue, I don't think it's not irrelevant. I'm nervously and worriedly going to not stand up for him, <laughs> but just put the other, the other side of the case, which is that in that German TV interview, it wasn't clear that he was saying it was absolutely categorical that it had come from Russia. He was saying it was absolutely categorical that it was Novichok, which is what the Porton Down guy said. So to that extent, it wasn't actually a slip. The trouble is that any possible syllable slipping one way or another, the Russians are so aggressive they just dive straight in. And they've been able to exploit that yeah. on social media and on their yeah. own media. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, it was very perilous because we have a coalition which has been terrific of people supporting us, of countries, allies, friends supporting us. You know, Boris put that at risk. Okay, okay. Julia, you have a tablet there. And you're going to tell us about something else yes, the Russians well, have been up to. Well, indeed. And, and again, he says, that let's, let's all be terribly surprised at the idea, oh, are the Russians using chemical weapons? Well, they're backing a Syrian regime which is using chemical weapons.